Hello, it is Melmo. Welcome to another Star Stable video. I was gonna introduce what we're doing today, but I don't really know. But I do know that we have a main story quest with Tan about Loretta. So maybe we'll figure out where where is Loretta. Because I believe she has some races that I want to do. Melanie, have you seen Loretta? No? She rode off on the wild bobcat track, but never came back. I'm worried that something might have happened to her. I really need help to find her. Can you ride along the path and look for her? I sure can. I see a stinky old man up there that might be the, the cause of our issues. Stop! This road has been declared unsafe. You can't walk, ride, or drive any further. No, I can't let you pass, even if your friend is in danger. The road must be cleared before I let you pass. Those are the orders I have, so I won't leave until Mr. Kimball tells me to. Humph. If it's that important, why don't you go ask Mr. Kimball to send the bulldozer? I freaking will! I'll get this nonsense cleared up, and Loretta and I can go on a cute little picnic. And maybe hold hands on the way. <laughs> Oh my god, Conrad has a quest for us. My number one main man. We must go talk to him later. Love Conrad. I love Conrad. There used to be a GED shop over here. I mean, it wasn't a GED shop. It was just a shop where you could buy like flag shirts. It was kind of weird, but I guess that's not here anymore. Oh, there's another star. Nice. <laughs> he looks so ugly. He looks so ugly. Ah, what do we have here? A little stable girl who dares come all the way up here? What do you want? To sabotage my powerful machines and a pathetic attempt to save your little pile of planks you call a stable? Rather excellent, don't you agree? I'll get rich and the Moreland stables will, won't get a shilling. That's how we do work here at GED. Oh, you're not here to cause trouble? Really? You want me to send you a bulldozer? You're a funny little girl. Ha ha ha. This is what we'll do. If you help me mark four trees for falling, I will send a bulldozer. I don't like the idea of you cutting down trees for zero reason. I don't know if I have to dismount to do that. Um, I just did it because I assumed. Ugh, you don't. You do not. Oh. Ew. I don't even want. I. Oh. I don't even want to think about him saying that to me. Anyway, I had already given the order to send the bulldozers. So you could say you did all of this for nothing. This is why I hate men. This right here is why I hate men. <laughs> Off with you, girly. You and I are done here for now. Oh, don't say that. Kitty! Why is there a cat here? A red tabby cat approaches you. She meows heartbreakingly and looks lost and scared. There's something tied around her neck. You inspect it closer. Upon closer inspection, you find a little note attached to the cat's collar. My name is Dory. Return me to Fort Pinta my so my owner needn't worry. Okay. We can go return Dory quickly. But it's better than keeping her with that stinky man. I can't believe you found her. Oh, my little Dory, I missed you so much. Thank you so much for finding her. As for you, don't think for a moment I'll ever, at you, I'll ever let you out of my sight again, you little sneak. As if I could ever stay mad at you. Look at her face. Don't you think she's just the cutest? Oh my gosh. No, you're all the prettiest and the loveliest. I love you all equally. Hello? Hi there, are you looking for a bag? Then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Fort Penta Pets and Bags Store. Why do we sell both bag pets and bags? Well, everyone knows you need a saddle bag for when your pet goes out. How else would your pet be able to see where you're going? Hello again, are you a VIP customer? Here you go, here's a saddle bag for your pet. Thanks, free bag. Oh my gosh. The bunnies. I forgot about them. They're so cute. Oh my god. This, why is this one so expensive? Have you got any any news about Loretta, Melanie? The bulldozer is on the way to clear the rock slide? Good. The bulldozer should have cleared the road by now. Ride back over to the cliff wall and keep looking for Loretta. What are you doing here, Melanie? You're a little far from the stables. Tan sent you to find me. That's sweet of her. And you, I suppose. Not that Bardic and I need rescuing, honestly. Listen about earlier, I'm sorry I wasn't the most welcoming. Like Tan said, a little kindness can go a long way. I'm not promising you'll ever make the Bobcats, but that doesn't mean we still can't be colleagues. Tan and the others must be worried sick. We should let them know we're safe. My goodness, she's so fast. I like how she slows down enough just to like 
let you think that you can beat her, but there's no shot. There's no shot. I saw you racing after Loretta, Melanie. You nearly had her. You're clearly ready for a real challenge. What do you say giving the Wild Bobcats track a try? 210 XP for my character? Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You got a better time than some of our riders in our club. Come back anytime if you want to race again. Welcome to the club! Loretta! She caved. She loves us. A lot of new riders come through the gates of Moreland Stables every year. We bobcats do our best to welcome them all before they go back to, a ri to riding lessons and friendship bracelets. But every so often, you meet a rider who's destined for bigger things. Perhaps I was too quick to write you off. Melody, I've got a feeling big things are in your future. It would make me proud to see you in bobcat pink. My goodness. Loretta is making you an honorary bobcat? How exciting. Oh yeah, look at me, a bobcat. Oh hi, are you a friend of the bobcats? I could really use a hand. Loretta has agreed to let me host a cavaletti and show jumping classes here in the little paddock. But first, I need more cones to set up the course. Here are some cones. And a wall. <laughs> Thank you, this should be plenty of cones to work with. Wow, I'm now a stable girl in the Bobcats. I'd like to help you train on more challenging show jump courses, but there's a bit of a situation. When I was setting up the obstacles for my next training lesson, lesson, I ran out of pink poles for the club's supplies. Apparently, this shade of green is used by club, the club's arch rivals, the Bulldogs. I guess we're painting the poles pink then. Grab a paintbrush. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can start your lesson. I don't like that sound. The poles are now perfect bobcat pink. Why is this one black? That's weird. I... that... is that normally like that? We have hit a reputation block for the next races. Melanie, we seem to have a bit of a problem with Rosie the cow standing over there by the wall. She's been acting strange lately. Hanging her head like she's all sad or something. It occurred to me that Miss Holdsworth is great with cattle. She used to have a farmer. She used to have a farm herself. Maybe she knows what we could do to cheer Rosie up. Would you please go talk to her? The cow is sad, you say. You want me to cheer her up? I've had the same problem with one of my cows a long time ago. I found her eating dandelions, so I went back and got a bunch of them and made them into a brew that I fed to Wendy, and it worked wonders. I can go pick some dandelions, Miss Holdsworth. These look fine. I'll have the brew ready for you in a little while. Here's your brew, dear. Give it to her right away. Oh, little moo moo cow. I have a yummy soup for you. Yay, happy cow, happy cow, happy, happy, happy cow. She actually does look happier. How'd you do it? A dandelion brew? Would you believe that? I don't suppose you lost a horse. A big fluffy girl with a black coat? She's a draft horse, I think. I'm sorry, I can't be more specific. But we don't see a lot of horses like that around here, especially not ones with an attitude like that. Apparently, she's over by the beach. This must be the horse Maya was talking about. There's a note attached to the bridle. Property of the amazing Yidris. If found, please return to Elmer's Highland. <gasps> there she goes. Oh, there's another star over here. Hang on, Z. Stop! Do not tell me who you are. The amazing Idris knows all! Greatest fool once said, the noblest art is making others happy. 
Make people happy, and who knows, perhaps someday the joy I can bring can spread to the entire world. With a circus! I cannot do it alone. That is why I sent Dear Z on an important mission. Did you find what I asked for, my four-legged friend? Voila! A simple wooden mask. Masks are one of the most important forms of magic. It's a little man. Zen, what a right proper fool you are. No wonder you're my favorite companion. Now that we're all properly introduced, let's just go back to the brass task. That was not the sentence, but we're gonna continue. Us four are going to build a circus together. First up, the big top, Melanie, if you wouldn't mind pulling the tent out of the little crate over there. Oh, which crate? Oh, this one, this one, this one, this one. Where did all the other go? Where did all the other boxes go? Mirrors and smoke, my little flea. But most importantly, we have our tent. My goodness. You must be eager to see what mystery lies inside our big top. Soon, my lovely, soon. Zen, where did my fool run off to? Oh no! Stay calm, Zen. Melanie will get you down. Wee! Oh goodness. Oh. Goodbye, Z. But come back here, Z. <laughs> Poor Z. Z reluctantly drops the mask. I should probably return this to Yidris. You stinky, stinky horse. We should get my jester back in its costume right away. Now, does everyone have their appearances sorted? Autumn is looking a bit long in the face. I suppose that can't be helped. Our big top is missing something. The cherry on top of the Sunday of our dreams. Where did I put the sign? Right over here. Um... It's kind of clips, but we won't look at it. Our circus shall light up the night. It occurred to me that our circus will be a ball, but it's a bit off, be off the beaten track. Melanie, fetch us a pumpkin. Could someone be making a pumpkin pie? Follow that scent to our mystery pie maker. I bet it's Miss Holdsworth. She loves making pies. It's leading right to her house. Of course it's Miss Holdsworth. Why, yes, I am baking a pumpkin pie. You need pumpkin? After baking my pies, I had exactly one pumpkin left over. Well, I will just take that right off your hands, Miss Holdsworth. Thank you so much. Did you find the pie maker? Of course you did. Now, what are those magic words for transforming a pumpkin? Ooh. Oh my goodness. The circus of our dreams is coming together quite nicely, wouldn't you agree? Our dreams? I think this is your dream. My faithful fool Zen has gotten into his head and would like to put on a race. Would you care to give Zen's race a go? Of course I will. It's weird that Tan is here, especially because she has no reason to be in here right now. Tan, what are you doing? Oh, that really bothers me. It honestly has always bothered me that she's here. Like, I, I don't even know why she's here. She needs to stop it. Go away. Go home. Melanie, come close. There's a matter of grave importance that I wish to share with you. Lately, I've been hearing whispers of the wind for such a wish. My dear companion Z has already been tasked to procure the necessary elements for such a task. And here she is now. A cute little pony. Gather around. One and all. Let the show begin. <laughs> A stinky horse. Let's try that again. A deer! Oh dear, what's this very mishap? <laughs> Third time's the charm. I cannot keep a wonder such as this to myself. You could own this amazing zoni. I don't really want it, but cool. I hate to say it, but I believe we have come to the end of the episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, maybe give it a like and subscribe while you're down there. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you all later. Bye!